I recently completed a trip to Norway, and I, on the way home, I spent two nights in Copenhagen, just as a sort of a afterthought to my trip to Norway. I'm glad that I did, though, uh, because uh, I learned a thing or two when I was there. Very short trip, very short stay in Copenhagen. I'm one of those Canadians, or North Americans, I suppose, that uh, pretty much hates Christmas. Uh, the commercialization is just appalling. Everyone is in a bad mood. Uh, you hear endless, mindless Christmas music in every store in an environment that is very stressful, so you just associate Christmas music with misery. Um, you know, all those stereotypes are actually quite true about the North American Christmas. It's just not fun anymore. Well, huh, I was in Copenhagen uh, mid to late November, and the Christmas stuff had started. When I first arrived there, I thought, oh God, they start here even earlier than they do in Canada. Just wandering around downtown Copenhagen, I noticed, though, that even though they had started earlier, the atmosphere is completely different. Um, it may, may get worse closer to Christmas, I don't know, and it might not be as good as it used to be. But I noticed little things. I drink too much coffee. Going to a coffee shop, a lot of these coffee shops that I went into in uh, Copenhagen, you have a lovely smell of mulled wine. They're serving, I guess, wine mixed with spices and sugar and selling it in small quantities to people that'll keep you, you know, warm in the chilly nights. Uh, didn't seem cold enough to skate, but uh, it was cold enough to turn your face red. Um, uh, Christmas decorations, yes, but not insane amounts of them. Um, Christmas foods, yes, even in November I could see, maybe Copenhagen is always like this, pastry shops everywhere, um, but it did seem to have the little extra Christmas oomph to it. I did a little bit of sleuthing after I came home, and I discovered that, yeah, a lot of European countries start Christmas earlier than we do here in North America. But it's more more sort of laid back, and it's a lot of events. It's going out to little, relatively quiet parties with family, or you take the kiddies out to rides, or you know you just go for a walk in the city, and maybe you go to the church and sing in the choir. Even if you're a died in the wool atheist, you still might do this because that's just well, it's what people do at Christmas. Um, it strikes me as a very pleasant thing. Um, it's probably what people in this country would say, what Christmas used to be. Uh, I'm sure, again, that Danish people will tell me that Christmas in Denmark is kind of going downhill, and it's not what it used to be, but it is definitely not what it has become here. I. It's strange the effect of just a couple of days in central Copenhagen in November can have on you, but I did sort of put something of the Christmas spirit back into me, although the way the Danes do it, I don't think it's all that difficult, or the Europeans in general, I don't think it's all that difficult for us to replicate that in our own lives. You just have to consciously decide to do it as an individual. Um, you just order your month of December or your Christmas season that way. Uh, avoid rushing around when you go out, go out for some hot apple cider. That's even Canadian coffee Coffee shops sell that stuff in the winter with a little bit of cinnamon in it. Um, go skating, do something stereotypically Canadian. Um, you know, that sort of thing. It, I think that maybe our economy depends on uh, Christmas retail sailors to the extent that this is now a forlorn dream. Um, but um, I think that individuals uh, can actually make Christmas worth something. I don't follow any religion, so Christmas long ago ceased to have any religious significance to me whatsoever. Um, it doesn't. It has zero to me, but I still do Christmas, but I still hate Christmas. I do it, as so many other people do, simply because it just, well, you got to do it, I guess. You know, you get through it, and when it's over, it's like, oh, thank God. But... I think after my experiences in Denmark, 
short though they were and superficial, I admit, um, I think that Christmas might not be a hopelessly lost cause, at least in terms of globally speaking. Europeans who actually maintain the sort of sedate but longer Christmas season, I think, are onto a good thing, and I don't think they should, and I think they should resist having it go the way it has gone in my country. I salute you, Europe. You're doing that one right. Oh, and uh, Merry Christmas. I'm not afraid to say that. Thank you.